Ms. Malone is a child of God in need, and it's my duty as a deacon to care for her first. Derek, we have got a problem, and this thing cannot be ignored. Come on, baby. When is the right time? We need to pick a time and a date, and we need to let the whole church know. Look, I never said we were going to get married, okay? I never used those words. We must become seekers of God's presence. In His presence, there's power. The moment the enemy senses power, that's when the battle begins. My ex-boyfriend, he's just got a bad temper. He's just really, really mad, that's all. Jerry, I'm back! And I'm not leaving here without you. Pastor Lynn, you better not ever tell anyone about this. Smile. Let me give you a picture of this. No, I can't do that tomorrow. I got that funeral. Then how about I schedule it for Friday? Fr Friday will work. Hey, can I come in? Hey, Billy, come on in. Thank you. How's everybody doing? We're doing good. Good, good. What you up to? Well, I just stopped by to see if you'd give me a brief statement and to let you know what's going on. So, you mean you're trying to tell me that you're getting to the bottom of things? <laughs> good one, good one. Good one? Anyways, I brought your deacon's belt. Okay. I didn't want to leave it behind. Another good one? Yeah, Another good yeah, one? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I'll owe you something, though. Yeah? Here's five bucks. Five bucks? What's this for? I charge the guys a buck a piece to read that report. <laughs> you did not do that. Ten of them took me up on it. <laughs> I figured, what the heck, I'll split it with you. <laughs> well, I tell you, what the heck, I'll take it. <laughs> and um, I'll bet they could barely quit laughing. <laughs> they couldn't stop talking about his old glory underwear. Was that funny? It was. <laughs> and you know what? What? They'll never again be able to salute the flag with a straight face, ever. I'll bet. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with you two in this hiney humor. But I feel like I'm bringing up the rear. Oh, kazing, she got one in. That's good. <laughs> Enough. Right, can we move on, please? She never lets me have any fun. Never? Nope. <laughs> anyway, I want to know, did you find out anything? You bet your tidy ways I did. Kazing! <laughs> and you're going to mm. be interested. We ran a record check on the guy. He's not her boyfriend. Well, joke time's over. Yep. Then who or what is he? Her pimp. What? Yep, her pimp. So she's a prostitute? She's part of the area sex trade. <sighs> she's barely out of diapers. Mm -hmm. Oh, Billy, she's just a child. Mm -hmm. Lynn, the sex trade in our area has reached an unimaginable depth of pure evil. And social media has made it a thousand times worse. Yeah, and sleazebags troll the internet for unhappy and impressionable young girls, tell them what they want to hear, and convince them to run away from home. The younger, the better. Mm, mm, mm. I'll tell you, there is a hell, and it's hot. Scorching, scorching. Are the police having any success getting any of these girls out of that cesspool? They do, but there's no place to put them. But the county has a battered women's shelter, doesn't it? They do, but they concentrate on domestic violent cases. So they don't want to take these girls from the sex trade? No. Mm -hmm. 
Well, now in truth, there would be some issues discouraging that. Yep. I mean, I don't think it'd be wise to place the ladies that have been rough on the streets, house them with the same folks as young moms and children. It's just not smart. But the county could build buildings specifically for these girls, right? Yeah, a place where they could be protected and heal. Well, which reason do you want? Number one, the case workers would be overloaded. Number two, there's no political will to finance a project like that. And number three is the NIMBY reason, not in my backyard. Good old not in my backyard. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I think that's a good thing. Because in truth, this should not be the work of the government. It should be the work of the church. Because you and I know that it will take God Almighty himself to bring about the kind of healing that these girls need. Good luck with that. It's going to take way more than one church to support one home. And getting churches to work together? <laughs> Just like he said. Good luck with that. But the need, the need is so great. Mm -hmm. Look, all I know is God remains the God of the impossible. All we have to do is have faith and determination. Well, she's got both of those. Oh, amen to that. Anyways, I have to get back to work. If you need anything, just give me a call. You're the best. Thank you. Doors always open. You're going to be learning things that they didn't teach when I was in school, and I can't wait for the day when you're teaching me. That's gonna be an exciting day for me. Excuse me, Pastor Lynn. There's a gentleman here to see you. He and his wife are interested in being a part of our church. Well, yeah. welcome. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Lindley, Pastor Lynn. Nice to meet you, Pastor. Nice to meet you. Please have a seat. Thank you. Is your wife coming? Well, she had some very important shopping to do today. Our little puppy had a, a little accident and her, the diamond fell out of her collar. And so she had to get her a new one. This is not the first time. Oh, this is gonna be good. May I get you some coffee or some tea? No, thank you. I had a late breakfast. Well, please, tell me about yourself. What is going on with you? We've had extensive experience in the church world and uh, we would love to use that experience to help you grow. I know those people. So? So, they are trouble with the capital T. And rest assured, we will be bold in the spirit and humble at heart. Well, we can certainly always use more servants who love God and are willing to roll up their sleeves and get to work. They go from church to church tearing stuff up. What are you talking about? Listen, they pit deacon against deacon, deacon against pastor, and listen, it's all about the mighty dollar with them. They use their money to try to get positions in the church. Wow. Well, we sure don't want them here. No. So we got to figure out a way to tell Lynn. Now, how you think we're going to do that? We just can't walk up to her and say, oh, there's a pair of demons. Toss them out. Think. We got to think, okay? 